Hello everybody, today we are going to be reviewing the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Skids. There's his name. Um, this is a really nice vehicle mode. It rolls okay, but of course my cloth backdrop isn't letting it do it. But these legs, hips, are getting in the way of the wheels. I might be doing something wrong, I might not, not sure. Um, I mean, that's kibble. I don't like the transparent windows because it just shows empty space and his head inside of there. So, yeah. Now, moving on to size comparisons, I guess. We have Movie Ironhide. You can see them together. And then we have... Hubcap and a bumblebee. Uh, the painting on this figure is great. Uh, that spiral, even though the character isn't. Uh, this is a really nice red. I really like the red on that. It's obviously a Chevy because all of them are a Chevy. Just as proof. Chevy, although that's kind of normal for Bumblebee. Although, strangely enough, Ironhide isn't. I'll get to that when I review him. But there he is. Now, so I guess let's just get into transformation. First, just sort of like pull the top off a bit so it's all cracked. Then, these doors just pop out like that. The other side. So then, you just really pull down the legs. It looks like a jumble now. I'm probably doing this a lot. Hard, making it a lot harder than it has to be. Kind of hard straddling the camera though. Straddle. And there you can see the little area that it plugs into. And boom, a leg done. Just as I finished the leg and flipped down his head, it was just hiding back there. I dropped the camera. <laughs> um, then you swing around this section. This dude's really weird to transform. Well, not weird, it's just different and awkward to do on camera. Um. Hello. So then, swing out his arms. And... Pretty much his chest section done. Gonna fix this leg. Um, and I guess just fold this down. This right here tabs into that hole. And then you pretty much just gotta fiddle around with it. Until it looks good. And. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm probably missing something, but. I mean. There we go. kind of awkward. I'm just gonna have him like sort of sit on something. There we go. So here he is in robot mode. 
pretty nice sculpt. I'm not a fan of the two different greens here, but, well, this was actually the first somewhat difficult Transformer I got. Uh, it's kind of awkward how he, I'm probably doing this wrong too, but how he just sort of like can't stand up because of that piece. Just wants to keep on falling over. But if you take a figure stand, like this one here, then you can clip it on around his waist if you can get it on right. Or maybe just around a leg. And boom. Now he's fallen over. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> so there he is. I guess now for some size comparisons again. So we got Ironhide. And then hubcap. And finally, a bumblebee. So going on to articulation. Oh, actually, there is some really good light piping. Not too terribly good, but it's there. Just blue. So, I mean, you have that. Um, so moving on to articulation. His head can move at the base and is on a ball joint. His arms are on a swivel here and rotate. There's a swivel here. A double jointed elbow and a wrist swivel. Moving on. No waist swivel, ball joint here, swivel there, a knee, another bend below the knee, and a ball joint at the foot. This thing's a piece of crap. Even though it's a piece of crap, it has a good head, head sculpt. That's pretty much all it has going for it. Thanks for watching, and bye!